Hello, welcome back. So far we have discussed various locator strategies that is used by Selenium to identify the web element. Those locator strategies are ID, name, link and XPath. And we have seen that how XPath can, can always solve your problem with different kinds of functions, expressions and so on. Like certain things cannot be resolved by ID or name. Therefore, we use XPath. There is another elegant way of locating the web elements and that is called CSS path. And using CSS, you can also locate the web elements and CSS is, is more performing than XPath and CSS is more elegant and it is less likely the cause of any, any breakage when your application code changes. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to identify web elements using CSS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain you with some kind of comparison and whatever we, whatever we used to find using XPath, I'm going to take those examples and try to see how I can I can find using CSS. Okay. So here are some questions and uh, the first one is that let's try to locate the complete HTML on in an web page. For that we have seen that we just have to give slash HTML. Okay. So the equivalent thing in CSS is just HTML. Okay. So let's try to see if if actually this is what is what is really working or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take this simple example where I just have a form where I have two inputs and one submit button. And just want to, if I want to select everything, what I have to give in target, I have to give CSS equal HTML. And I want to, let's try to find it. So if you find it, as you see, it's highlighting the complete HTML page. The sec second question, how to locate the form? To locate the form, we have to find out, let's go to our uh, browser and this is, I'm basically uh, doing this thing using inspect element with Firebug and what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, 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 the complete structure, okay? To navigate to the form in, in XPath, we did HTML, then we went to body and then we went to form. Okay, so what used to be something like slash HTML slash body slash form in CSS, it will be HTML body form. So what you are seeing here, this slash is replaced by a greater than sign, that's all. Okay, so that is how you're going to locate using CSS. So if I want to uh, do that demonstration here, change CSS HTML greater than sign, then I have body then I have for uh, let's see if we are finding it so yeah we are finding the complete form okay so now the next question for us is how to locate ID u1 inspect element with firebug so this is the HTML for that text box and the input then ID attribute ID is equal to u1 so as you discussed this is the corresponding XPath for this thing Okay, so we did double slash, then element name, then the ID with iterate, and in a quotes we give u1. In case of your CSS, the same thing can be written as input. Okay, we don't have to give any slash or double slash anything, then bracket ID equal u1. That's all. Okay, no quotes, no double quotes, just give element name then the attribute name equal to attribute value or the same thing can be written as input has sign as u1 okay or since u1 is the unique one you just want the one value here we can also give u1 so what you are seeing here by giving this kind of thing this is less dependent on the structure of html page so therefore if something changes due to the application logic then it is most likely these things are going to remain same and is going to work so that is why CSS is more elegant and less likely to break on the application change so I'll give CSS equal say input then bracket 
id equal u1 uh, let's try it so yeah it is it is uh, getting it and also you can simply give input u1 okay also you can just simply give has u1 okay so this is also going to work so these are three different ways that you can you can do the css and next let's go to the next question next question was to locate the submit button in a dynamic uh, application so what i mean by this so let's go to this uh, html called example5.html which is available on the on the website and what i'm trying to see is how do i write the css locator for submit and for this uh, this text field if i first go to submit button and then go to inspect element with firebug so what i'm seeing is i'm seeing something id submit underscore 1025 and if i am going to refresh this thing and again i go to this submit button and this looks like it is coming again 673 so essentially what my my point here is that this id value changes refresh okay so therefore if you just give simply id is equal to submit 673 that is going to break so for that we had a function in xpath called starts with okay so similar thing is available in css equivalent thing in css would be input equal then bracket id then i have to give a tilde sign equal to submit yes so this is same as starts with we don't have any function called starts with but this symbol is just enough so that anything that is submit underscore 234 submit underscore 345 is going to match for this okay so let's try to uh, see if that is the case so obviously if i want to click for, for this thing input then i give id tilde equal submit so let's see if it's going to work yeah so see like you know, it is basically uh, it is highlighting that submit button this is so it is it is able to find out that similarly if i want to look at this this field and this field is also going to be dynamic and right now it is showing me 798 but it's also going to show some if i refresh this thing it may be going some other values so let's try to see what is the new value 442 so in that case what we have used in our xpath we use something called function called contents okay so that contents function so so this thing can be written as in css input then id then we give star okay equal count it means anything ends with count is going to be located by this locator so let's see if that thing really working or not so we have to change this thing to star and then do count and say see now it's going to work okay so these are the four examples that i've given that if you go to your firebug and i assume that you have also installed firepath so if you install firepath then this firepath is going to come here so click on that and then it has it has different things like you know you can give xpath so that it will locate the xpath if you if you select css then it is going to locate the css path for example for submit button if i want to know what is the css then click on this inspector inspector button and go and click on submit and you see it is giving submit underscore 761 what is the css for this product one then i'll click on this and i'll click on this product one and whatever is going to give so that is the css path and if i want to see the equivalent x path then it will just uh, the greater than sign will be replaced by slash okay so that's all for, for, for now i hope you uh, you are able to write simple css locator right now thank you